Right, well, after months of lockdown, we are actually going to get fishing today. Look at that on our boat. So the van's loaded with all my gear, um, spare batteries, baits, all the things I've taken out of the boat to sort out whilst during lockdown are all loaded on board, uh, and we're on our way to the boat. Today, we're, it's not going to be particularly adventurous. We're going to go out, we're going to uh, drift with the tide, see if we can't pick up some place or some smooth hands off the shore. Right, well, we're on the water. We are on the water. Myself and Pete are on Tilly, and we're going to go out and we're going to go fishing. Yeah, and it's so good to be back. So good to be back on the water. I'm going down the river about to pass underneath the bridge and then we're going out to sea bit of a grey day has to be said it'd be nice if the sun was shining uh, but beggars can't be choosers but the most important thing is we are out at sea look at that big old beast up there I wonder what they're doing the next stage of the wind farm. And, uh, it's coming into view, it's the reason why the East Arm is closed. We had a ferry collided with it, took a big chunk out of it as you can see. Uh, and so we shut the East Arm constantly. Much to the chagrin of hundreds of people that come and fish off the end of it. I do believe that quite a few time over the fences still carry on going fishing but um, This is Peter and his boat Tilly. Um, nice little boat. Nice seaworthy little boats actually. But what I was gonna do is steam down to Salt Dean. Yeah. Okay, and then and then just drift drift along. Back, yeah. Well we'll we'll still be we'll drift around at Salt Dean a bit, I would imagine. Yeah. And then and then we'll start coming back this way when the tide changes. Alright? Okay. Well I'll, I'll steam on a little bit, but I'll keep you in sight, yeah? Contours on the map. Yeah, there is, there is some sort of uh, there is some feature on the ground here, so uh, that's all good. Place tend to like sitting on features. Yep, right, jolly good. We're out fishing. Yeah. Uh, Peter managed to join us in the end. He's here with us. Um, I had actually managed to catch my first place before he got here, which is actually quite a result. So happy days. And Sunday. <laughs> We're going wrecking. Might go Saturday. Depends on what the weather forecast is. At the moment, it's a toss-up between Saturday and Sunday. But certainly one of the days of the weekend. Uh, me and the guy called Alex. We're going to go out. And we can't see if we can't get some fine pollock. Here's the plan. Right. Really good start to the day. Really good start to the day. So we literally. I've dropped the weights down. I'm just about to start thinking about tackling out the second rod. And I'm into my first place. It's only a little one which will probably go back but um, a good start and Peter's only just got here so fantastic right so just had my second place it was only a postage stamp size but it was uh, still a place which I'm happy with just have a look at quick look at the rig that I'm using um, looks like a coat hanger doesn't it it's a spreader um, basically the weight drags along the bottom those two booms drag along next to them and then trailing behind them are our hook baits and the hook baits are um, blinged up with beads, little uh, sequin, um, little rotator that flats and flutters in the, in the water catching the place's eye is the idea. So far um, I think the green and black beads have outfished the uh, yellow and orange which is unusual because yellow and orange are my favourite generally but we'll carry on see what happens. Get this back out there um, 
because the boat's drifting sideways we're fishing off this side of the boat uh, so that the lines are running away from us um, basically letting the line down under control let it go under control so that the uh, baits don't twist up around the uh, main line as it's going down and then once we hit the bottom carry on letting out line as the boat drifts along until it's dragging until the, uh, the the rig is dragging along behind the boat so that you're always in contact with the bottom now the other rod i've got out here now um, has got a hermit crab on it with the hope of picking up a smooth hound um, that would be good if we do uh, certainly see some action because that will put a bend in the rod whereas place 10 just to give you a little rattling bite and that's it uh, i haven't actually I've, I've, I've put both the place into my live bait tank for the time being just so that we can have a sort of final tally up at the end of the day but they will go back alive gives them a time to uh, relax and get get um stabilized again before we put them back in the water um yeah so they're not eating size yet but i anticipate if this is this is a portend that we will start picking up some bigger ones soon because obviously this bit of ground here gets trawled quite heavily uh, and the trawlers will be will be swooping up the little place as well as the big ones so um, the fact that there are a little place left here means that there are some big ones here as well so now i've got the lines out behind the boat so it's in contact with the bottom at all times and we're dragging along what we do have to do is set the uh, the drag because you know there is a possibility you can get snagged up and because i've got two two rods on the chances are they will both snag up at the same time so what i don't want is to lose a rod over the side whilst i'm dealing with the other one um yeah looking at the ends of the rods there of course as you're dragging along it doesn't look like you're having constant bites it's kind of a you, you i don't know it's a sixth sense involved in recognizing what is a bite and what is the weight just bobbing along the bottom in the best traditions of graham pullen um i'm fishing with far too many rods got four rods out now got two out on uh, longer rods out to the sides for place uh, which i need to check because i've been getting a few little knocks and rattles there's definitely something on that one there uh, and then I've got um, two shorter rods, one that's got crab on with the hope of picking up a smooth hound and one that I'm dragging half a mackerel on with the hope of, well, you know, taupe, dogfish. But I mean, there's all sorts of things I'm going to pick up a mackerel. So um, with a bit of luck, we'll pick something up as well. Uh, it's a nice, easy day. Just drifting up in a big zigzag, making our way back to New Haven on the tide. Uh, the little bit of wind is pushing us in. Um, so it's good we're fishing like to say a bit of a zigzag um, so that's all good there we go nice little place only that one, and of course, I picked up one of my lines down so I'm fishing with lots of lines. Okay, looks like you might have another little one on here. I've had five so far, not all have been on camera. Oh, no. Okay, so we've got a trawler bearing down on us, um, and we've just in quite a long way, so we'll bring all these baits up and we will steam back out again, carry on our zigzag path back to New Haven. heavier weight on this, I don't know if it's on the bottom anymore. Oh, hello. <laughs> there you go. On a bloody hermit crab. Used to be nearly as big as the place. Oh, that was kiting. And that's a dab. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, a dab. Broke the hooks. And he's at a bloody hermit crab. As I say, it was nearly as big as his head. Bait meant for something far better. It was a bit more solid. There we go. 
A little Gurnard, look at that. A little beauty. Little red Gurnard. Only a chiddler, but nonetheless. And they go in our, our collection bucket. Right, up and at them. And there's the competition. Dragging his trawl along through where we've been fishing. I imagine that he's hoping to catch what we've been catching. It's an SM 70s, that's a shore and boat, or SM7 shore and boat but I don't know where he's based. Might be registered in Shoreham, doesn't necessarily mean he's based there. Right so we've moved position again, we've come down, we're near the um, Port Bello outfall, which is that yellow ball you can see behind us. Uh, in the past I've had some quite a big place from this area. Um, so let's get let's see if we get lucky. We've had we've had five place now, a couple of dabs. Uh, but nothing, nothing really to take home. They're in the live bait tank. Um, but we so can get a final shot of them before we put back. It's not, not place for tea yet. Peter coming up the rear, keeping up the rear. Um, he's having quite a good day. I think he's had some quite nice. He's, some of the places he's had look quite, quite nice. Right, that's a bit more like it. That's what we want to see. That's definitely coming home for tea. About time this rod produced something. Of course it's swallowed the up down, as they do. Looks like we've got a bit of action on the left hand rod there. Whoa, definitely. Trying to lift over the side of the boat. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that feels quite solid. Oh. <laughs> Look at these two. <laughs> Oh, come here, get in the net. Oh. oh, that has got to be my PB place. That is a monster. That is a monster. Look at that. -hoo -hoo. Look at that baby. That is worthy of the scales, that is. And this other one is is big. Who would have thought it? Look at the size of that boy. Oh, look at the size of that. Oh, that is monstrous. Fantastic fish. Okay, so two pound, two pound one. No, ten, two pound ten ounces.
There's a place for us. Two pound ten ounces, that big one. Two pound ten ounce. Definitely place city here. There we go, another nice place. Two, two beauties. That's a big dab. That is a big dab. It's an eating dab. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, right, here we go. Another place for me tea. I think. Little one. I had a monstrous great big dab just now. It's the biggest dab I've seen. I did do, yeah, a little while ago. Monster of a dab. Oh, this one again. Yeah, definitely something there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, got good. Yeah, they come up. Love it when you see them kiting up through the water. Another big dab. Look at that. I mean, obviously, it's not as big as the place, but it's a dab, and dabs lovely and sweet to eat. But like all flatfish, they gorge the hook. But you can see it's a dab. If you, look, if you look carefully, you can see this lateral line. It's got that curve in the lateral line, it's behind the gills. Dabs, I'll go for the light, and you can see through them. Oh, this rod. That feels like a solid fish. Nice big place. Big fat place. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. It's one of the unusual ones. It's got spots on its underside as well. You can see the difference. The lateral line's got a little curve in it, but not nothing like a dabs. And they have these beautiful orange spots. Beautiful fish. And they have a, a bony ridge there on the back of the gills. And they're smooth whichever way you rub the hand, whereas on a dab, they're rough on the wrong way. 
Well, what a place day we're having. Um, I don't think I've ever known a day when we've caught so many places. I mean, not all big, got quite a few little ones as well, but we have had some monsters as well. So definitely got place and chips in my tea tonight. Looking down the water, you can't see it because the water's a bit murky, but it is absolutely covered, the bottom is covered with place. Um, yeah, what a good day. What a good day, and it's not over yet. Tide's starting to slacken off a little bit now, which means the drift is that much slower, which actually means, in theory, we've got more chance of catching some nice big ones. So, yeah, yeah, a good day. Good day's been had so far. And to be quite honest with you, we went out quite a long way to get place, and we were catching little ones. Uh, we've come in and in behind um, the, the, bright, the uh, New Haven Arms. Uh, I didn't think we were going to do very well, but it's really paid off. Unbelievable. You think I'm just fishing off the beach, just over there. Um, a bit further than I can cast, I guess, but not a long way past casting range. Certainly kayakable, so definitely um, one for one to put in the diary to come out down, down here, bring the kayak down and come and kayak along here for a place. That would be nice to catch some place off the kayak. Yeah, really good. Really, really good. Quite a few people fishing on the beach over there. Again, you probably know where to see it on the camera. But um, yeah, there's a bunch down by um, Buckle, which is where we were fishing the other night. Uh, and then there's a few sort of dotted all along the beach. I'm betting, I'm betting there's quite a few people there were using crab, hoping to pick up a smooth hand. I've got a crab on one of my rods here. Hoping to pick up a smooth hand, hasn't happened yet. And I've got a big bit of mackerel on here which has not been touched by anything. Just on the chance of picking up a ray or taupe would be nice. Oh yeah, you get a nice taupe. Again, probably need to be a bit further out than that. But what, hey, it's raining. Can't have it all. Little bit of rain, little bit of rain on the lens. That's fishing, isn't it? It's proper fishing in the UK. And it's back out on the boat. We're back out on the boat. What a good start to being out on the boat. That's all I can say. What a good start to it. Yeah, happy man. Didn't feel like a big... Oh, no, it wasn't one at all. Must have been just the lead dragging along the bottom. Squirter. It's a squirter. There you go. Nice little cuttlefish. Bit of fresh bait. Look at that. You might have you for tea. Nice to eat, cuttlefish. And what we got on here? Certainly lifted a rod. Oh, 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 oh. That feels like a good fish. There's a spot, we're on the spot here, aren't we? Yeah. That is definitely a heavy fish. I say it nearly pulled my rod in. <laughs> Holy shamoly! Though that is a monster. That is a monster. Oh. That has got to be my PB place. That is that is a big fish. Yeah. It is a stoter. I mean, the, the little his little wingman's a good fish. Look at that! Look at that bad boy. Got to remember that spot. Woohoo! 
Have a little beauty. Cracking day on the place. One cut off fish, one little gurnard, quite a few little place which are all going to go back because they're still alive. A few nice big ones which we're going to go home to dinner. I've got, I've got one on the rod rattling away now, and I think I've got a one rod on that rod as well. So it's not the end, it's not the end, it's the beginning of the end, shall we say. And let's see if we can get a selfie shot off. Look at those bad boys. What a cracking day on the place. Yeah, beauties. Beauties. Bucket. He's going in the bucket. Couple of nice cuttlefish. Cuttlefish with tea. Go back. Little dab. Dab. Seven, twenty-seven fish. Yep. <sighs> and I think <laughs> uh, twenty-eight. <laughs> Last drift, eh? Last one. I'm, I'm out of worms, I'm out of bait. I've got 28 place. <laughs> well, I think it's 25 place, four dabs, a gurnard, and a cuttlefish. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, no, cracking day. I mean, I've put all the little place back now. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've got a live bait tank, so I kept them in the live bait tank just so I could get the final shot and then put them in. But I'm still, I'm still getting bites now. Oh, awesome day. Pardon? Stonking. Stonking day. Stonking. I, as I say, I, 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 I had some good days on the place, but I've never had a day as good as this. And ordinarily, you have to go down where we were. I mean, who knows? When the tide changed around, it might have got good down there. But of course, you realise the trawlers are hauling through there. The trawlers don't come through here, so. Yeah, they were going through there this morning. Yeah, exactly. One was quite close to me this morning. Yeah, no, I, I steamed across in front of one when I because it was it, it was in I was inside him. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, they they got to make a living, haven't they? But. Yeah, yeah, we've got to start heading in. I think, Mr. Place, you can go and have your freedom. Because I've got enough. So that's 29. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. 
And number 30, yay! It ain't over till the fat lady sings or till the fish have been cleaned. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to gut, gut these uh, place. Do that here rather than stinking out of the kitchen at home. Uh, I'm no specialist, I have to say. Put a bit of hose on there, get the rinse off. Cover and cut the fish in because it's cut the fish Eagles are starting to circle already. I fell, but now I'm strong. 